Stav, Abby and Matt, the B105 Breakfast Show. Hello, everyone. Welcome Hello. to today's podcast. Mm. Uh, there's a bit in the show today. Yeah. yeah. We can talk to David Williams. Mm-hmm. Yep. Who you'd know from Little Britain. Yes. Formerly mm-hmm. Williams, but there was already another David Williams uh, uh, in the... In is the it union. SAC? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so he became Williams. Oh, is that why it's Williams? Like mm. Emma Stone was the same. I think she's actually Emily. Yes. But there was already an Emily Stone. Yeah. That's why mm. Michael J. Fox put the J in. And now we've just heard last week, I believe, that Michael Keaton Correct. Uh, is actually Michael Douglas. Yes. And he's going to go by that now. Yeah. It's a weird rule. It is. You know, because names are pretty common. Yeah. Mm. You know. Especially yeah. like Michael Douglas. Yeah. I feel sorry for any John Smith that wants to be an actor because surely <laughs> that's taken. Yeah. Yeah. And it's yeah. frustrating, especially for Emma Stone. Like, who's Emily Stone? You know what I mean? She mm. could have been Emily Stone and been so much bigger. Yeah. No. Or could it, could it not have been as good? Yeah, That's like Michael true. J. Fox, I think it, it stands yeah, out a bit more too. Yeah. yeah. I know there's one more Benedict Cumberbatch that's furious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Uh, also today, um, we get some crazy love child calls. Oh, my gosh. Um, so strap in for that if you love uh, juicy goss that doesn't involve you, which yeah. is the best kind. Best yeah. kind I'm not used to this kind of stuff. I know, the, it's your, your yeah. blokey blokey talk Blokey talk? blokey. Oh, mm. what's your favourite tradie song? <laughs> 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 Lauren works on Triple M, yes. everyone, if you're wondering what that's about. Uh, yeah. You do have to be very specific about the stuff that you do over yeah. there. Don't you? It's, gonna be... it's fun, though. You get some very funny calls, but we did, my favourite phone is we, did, we used to do this thing called Tradie Breakfast, mm. yeah. and people would call up and be like, yep, had two meat pies and a big M. Like, it was just, and right. it would be like our 6.30 yeah. phone. Yeah. It was very yeah. funny. Yeah, right. Yeah. A can of it. Coke and a roll And a cigarette. Ciggy. Yeah. <laughs> Bracky dart. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, let's get into it. Here is the podcast. The B105 <laughs> Breakfast Show with Stav, Abby and Matt. As I've mentioned, a bit of a stressful time in the Davidson household. We have uh, moved house. Yes. And they say that's up there with getting a divorce or yeah, yeah like the most stressful time. Yeah. I said to you the other day, Stav, I think if there is a hell, it's just... Continually moving, moving house, just back and forth, <laughs> yeah. piles of junk. Be yeah. careful, though, because if, if they're saying that moving house is the same as getting a divorce, if Kat goes, that actually wasn't too bad, uh, maybe she'd be like, well, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> if that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, and we are uh, selling our, our old house. and so the, You can see it on the Courier Mail today, yeah. can't you? Yeah. Yes, you can. Get a peek inside Stav's house. It's mm. like cribs. But I'm not there. <laughs> <laughs> and lots of lots of paperwork needs yes. to be done, and lots of um, documents need to be filled, and all that sort of stuff. Mm-hmm. Right? And um, for one, the bank wanted uh, um, credit history and yeah. what my income was, and all that kind of thing. Yeah. And I may have made a bit of a boo boo uh, because um, th- we have many. Many printers in this building, don't we? And I, we have one assigned to us. And we also have one where you have to actually scan your type card in order for the printer to allow you to print stuff, and it says you. Yes. So and you kind of you send it to the the printing cloud, yeah. printing gods, and then you go over and go boop, and yeah. then it doesn't pop out until you boop it. Yeah. Okay, and yeah. It, it says you are logged in as you. Yeah. Uh, and I had to send the bank my um, salary. Uh, my yearly salary, so they would give me some money. Oh, good! You um, fit that on one yeah, day. Yeah, 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 Do you use a whole ream? See, you know, also yes. Anyway, where do we keep the boxes of reflex? <laughs> <laughs> Run out of toner now. Yeah. <laughs> and I sent that. Uh, I, I needed a printout, so I sent it to the comp- uh, the printer that has the little scanny thing. Mm. And I went over to the little scanny thing, and I scanned, and it said, "You're logged in as Stab Davidson. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have no printing jobs." Oh. And I was like, "Oh, it's gone." Oh. It's just gone into the, the, the cloud. printing cloud, yeah. It's away. It's gone. Uh, and then later on, I just forgot about it. So, yeah. well, it's not there. I'll do it later. I'll have to deal with that some other time. Uh, and then um, it, w- my producers came over and handed it to me because it had been spat out <gasps> in the other side of the building at Triple M's uh, printer. Oh, no. Mm. <laughs> oh, no. Face up? I believe so. Oh. But also, too, even if it wasn't face up, if you go to the printer, you're going to pick it up and go, is this mine? I'm going to look at that. And I'm going to assume as soon as they saw your name, they were like, as if you're not going to read that. (gasps) Yeah. It's the same as I don't understand the whole premise around writing the word confidential Mm. on things. Mm. Because if I see the word confidential, 
I'm going to read it. Yeah. If it doesn't say the word confidential, I'm probably not going to bother yeah. reading yeah, it. No, it true. just looks like words. I don't yeah. care. Of course. Confidential. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Now, I'm, I don't technically mind too much because I've always found, I don't know about you, Matt or um, Lauren, I've always found when in the rare times people have found out how much I do earn, yeah. they're very surprised. People think it's a lot more right, okay. than it actually is. Well, go on, is. tell us. <laughs> <laughs> we will be the judge yeah. of that. <laughs> um, but so who brought the paperwork to you? I believe, uh, well, my producers did, but they, who did Mate, you? They're our producers, <laughs> thank you. They're not just yours. <laughs> Listen, it must be high. Yeah. It must be yeah, so no. high. I'm not talking about those two. I've got my own producer. Oh, That's all right. Oh, yeah. I'm just trying to find yeah, it. Well, yeah. where were they when you needed to print something? I know. They're fired now. <laughs> they're fired. How, um, how much does he earn? <laughs> More than you think. Oh. No, I'm kidding. I'm oh. kidding. I, we didn't look. You, you didn't did look. so. How long was it there yeah. for? I don't know even. Oh. Because two other people found it and gave it to our producers. The whole building would know. You yeah. Reckon? Oh, mate, they would have looked. They would have ran around yep. their whole section. That's why someone then was it passing whispered. the bucket around before. <laughs> and so nice of you it guys. It would have whispered across the here. <laughs> now, if you didn't read it, which I don't believe you, I'm sure you did, someone's come and spoken to you about it. Who's gossiping about his wage out there? We definitely did not read it. Mm. We, we told the people that picked it up to put it face down so staff could come and grab it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I assume on that side of the building there is gossip. <laughs> we know what they're like. <laughs> like us. Yeah. We, we, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if someone else yeah, is I printing mean, yeah. game over here, <laughs> yeah. I'd, be, I'd be like, oi, mm. check this yeah. out. Let's have a look at this. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Mm. Well, okay, that's you'll awkward. never know who's seen it as well because no one no. will ever tell you. No, that's true. No, no. Oh, at least we ought to put you up on Celebrity Net Worth. That'll be cool. Yeah. yeah you can try. Hey. That'd be pretty far down the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, I'd love to know what you found on the printer. Mm. It would happen all the time mm-hmm. because, you know, if you've got one office printer and the and CEO's using it. Heaps yeah. of people love to, you know, you're not wasting your paper at home. No. You know, oh, so. yeah, printing at work, mm. yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> it's one of the perks of being in the office. Exactly. Mm. So if we didn't have a printer here, everyone would work from home. <laughs> yeah. No one would bother coming in. Yeah. Yeah. 131060, what sensitive information did you find on the work printer? Mm. The B105 Breakfast Show with Stav, Abby and Matt. Uh, it appears, Stav, that you are not alone, my friend. Oh, yay. Lots of people print sensitive stuff at work all the time. I mean, if it wasn't for Free Print Friday, <laughs> we wouldn't have anyone here in the office yeah. Yeah. on a Friday. Accidentally printed my wage to the wrong printer. Mm. Yes, and no, I'm not buying everyone lunch today. Yeah, uh, you should. <laughs> From the rumours I've heard, yeah. you should also be buying us a car. A house. Um, calm down. Holiday. <laughs> calm yeah. down, everyone. What else do we need? Uh, I could go with... Uh, just a nice holiday away. How about mm-hmm. I pay you to shut up? Oh, fine. Yeah, <laughs> nice. All right. <laughs> sure. Uh, so 131060, we want to know what sensitive information have you left around the office? Georgie in the switch. Hi. Um, yeah, so I, I was working on the road as a community care worker and I temporarily was doing a fill-in office job for someone else, whatever. <laughs> and um, my manager had printed something out and I went to get something from the printer and I saw that Someone had made a complaint against me, oh. and we're not supposed to see that. It wasn't that bad. Like, it was a lady with dementia. Her, her daughter was a little worried that I was too young to be seeing her because right. at the time I was 20. But, yeah. yeah, it was like this really big complaint from this lady saying how I was too young and stuff. And it was just, we're not supposed to see those things. So mm. it was a little, little orky. Oh. oh, that is orkies. Yeah. yeah. God, if I saw all the complaints um. against me, I'd... That goes my afternoon. <laughs> yeah. Correct. <laughs> yeah. Correct. Oh, there you go. Helen's there. Hi, Helen. Hi. Oh, oh have we got you? You there? Yeah. yeah gotcha. That's better. Yep. What did you find Hi. on the printer, Helen? Uh, so I was very, very new to the work industry back when I was 18, and I was the most junior in the office, and I found the CEO's spicy love note that would rival shades <gasps> to his mistress. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, that's juicy. Also. I, I was terminated the next day. <gasps> what? Oh. Yeah. Were you his wife or something? 
Oh, so he actually mentioned in his letter that he was going to leave his wife, but he had to wait until his disabled child was old enough. He didn't have a disabled child. Uh, what? <laughs> oh, what? Oh. was spicy. So he, he was obviously even lying to that lady about his mm. life. Yeah. I mean, also, too, if you're writing a spicy love note to type it up and print it out, like, I really feel like something like that should be handwritten to give it a bit more yes. meaning, shouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, if I would have done it, it would have been handwritten, yeah. 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 How did he know that you had re- read the le- the letter? Because uh, it was my job to deliver everything to him. Oh, so, like, right. mail, credit card, yeah. um, receipts and stuff like that, I it was my job to take it to him. So, wow. yeah, when it came out on the printer, I kind of hit it between everything, and then mm-hmm. the next day he called me into his office. He's like, I need to terminate you. Oh, I don't want to, but I need I to. to. And I was like, is this because of the letter? And he was like, I'm not obliged to say oh. you're still in your um, trial period. Yeah. So I he didn't have to give me a reason, but uh, right. it's all very suspicious. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like wouldn't he have been better to keep you closer yes. yeah. then rather than let you out there in the wild with that information? Mm. Well, it is 20 years on and here I am on. Yeah. On yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. What else was in the letter? Oh, that's R18+. plus. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And nothing says spicy like mentioning your imaginary disabled child. I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what an awful person. Yeah. Well, he's a... Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, right. So do you know if things worked out with him and that lady or you hadn't no. spoken to him no ever idea. since? No idea. You should I Facebook was, stalk him and find out. Mm. Yeah, I was terrified. As soon as he terminated me, I was out of there. I was yeah. not getting involved. Yeah. yeah fair enough. Yeah, that's where you and me are the opposite. I would have really <laughs> ducked it. <in>. Yeah. <laughs> the B105 Breakfast Show with Stav, Abby and Matt. Martin, it's Linda. Computer says no. Bitty. What bitty now? I was wondering whether you had any pirate memory games. <laughs> Please welcome David Wagner. He's in the country at the moment uh, and touring around a Sunday, the 15th of September. You can see him right here in Brisbane. Um, go to tegdainty.com to buy your tickets. David Williams, good morning. Good morning. How are you? We are good. Excellent. Looking forward to the show. Did I hear this right, David Williams, that you're doing two shows, one for adults and then one for kids? Yeah, there's one in the afternoon mm-hmm. for I say families because yeah. it's not it's not childcare. You don't just leave your child. Damn it! No, <laughs> you're not, not a, a nanny. Drop off. No. Um, <laughs> but yeah, there's a three p.m. show and a seven thirty p.m. show. I mean, first of all, we announced the the, the grown ups tour. I kind of look at Little Britain, come fly with me, mm-hmm. and it's more focused on you know the rude comedy yeah. that you'd get cancelled for now. <laughs> and um, <laughs> there's actually a couple of Little Britain characters that appear in the show. I love it. Uh, you Carol say Carol Beer, computer says no. Yeah, oh, great. I've great. Saw, I saw Andy on your Instagram there, David. Yes, he makes yes, an appearance. So, Lou and Andy. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm actually Lou, and Matt is Andy. <laughs> yeah. And and so I come on as Lou, and I'm looking for Andy, and then we do like a video. Cool. Oh, cool! Yeah, uh, with Matt as Andy, which is oh, which excellent. has been really fun. And then I, but I did get lots of messages from parents saying, "Is it suitable for my ten-year-old?" Mm. Yes. And well, <laughs> do you want them to grow up um, <laughs> <laughs> um, ruined by these experiences? Yeah. No. So, so yeah, I'm going to have a whole other audience of kids and families who enjoy my books. So mm. there's a there's a three o'clock show for them, nice. the Williams book show. Mm-hmm. Do you guys have kids? I do. I was yeah. just going to say, my daughter did love your books. Yeah. Did, but she doesn't <laughs> anymore. What happened? She, she's old. How old is she? Uh, she's 12. But she's gone. She's on twelve. To, yeah. Isn't like my books anymore. Well, she's she's uh, she's advanced for her age. She's on to um, Homer's Odyssey. And uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'm often compared to, compared to Homer. Oh, so I'm yeah. quite surprised. Yeah. <laughs> she's moved on. She's yes. uh, eight years old. Yeah. I mean, the books are mainly aimed at eight to twelve year olds, mm. but. Um, some pretentious children at twelve mm. yeah. do go off me. <laughs> you you said before about the uh, you know the show's got the stuff in it that you get cancelled for these days. I so say I don't particularly like that statement. People say, "Oh, you get cancelled for that now," because mm. that was comedy at that time, mm. and it was controversial mm. in its day too. You know, yeah. But I think what's wrong with being controversial? Yeah, like, I it's agree. exciting. Yeah. My favourite uh, comedy movie is Life of Brian. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, and and at the time, people picketed outside the mm. cinema. Mars. In certain countries, you could not see it. Like in Ireland, you couldn't see it for years and years. Mm. It's my favourite movie, 
but the Pope probably doesn't like it. <laughs> and I thought, <laughs> yeah, well, that's, that's all fine. right, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's like everyone doesn't have to love it. Yeah. I think we've just started listening to the complaints, you know, before you... And you have a right to complain, but mm. people would complain and everyone no, goes, sorry, I see, you're I upset. Yeah, that but <laughs> but everyone has a right to complain. <laughs> well, yeah, and then you know, people can be offended, but it's like... But being offended is quite can be quite fun. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. if you look at some of the biggest comedians around today, you look at who's got these huge specials on Netflix, you people like Ricky Gervais, yeah. really, really bad taste jokes, yeah. love them. Yeah. Jimmy, Carr, Jimmy Carr, great friend of mine. Yeah. Jimmy, Jimmy had a little bit of a controversial joke. And I said, Oh, are you gonna are you gonna apologize for it? Not meaning you should, but I just mm. are yeah. you? And he went, no. I said, oh, right, why not? He says, because then I'd have to apologise for everything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I thought, yeah, mm. yeah. That's the key is you kind of have to own it. If you're going to have that but, yeah. uh, that mentality and have that kind of comedy, it's you a, have to own it. It's the thing, if you yeah. go to a Jimmy Carr show and offended, you've been you've gone exactly. to the wrong show. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you've also swum the um, English Channel. Correct. You earned, um, was it like a million dollars that you got for charity? It was a million pounds. Sorry, pounds. Yeah. 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 That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, well, yes, it, w- it was a while ago. Um, it was in 2006. Yeah. And it was for the charity Comic Relief. That's uh, I know you know it too, but it's like a huge force in the UK. I think it mm-hmm. just recently reached, it, it, r- it had raised a billion pounds wow. over like the wow. last 25, 30 years or something. Mm-hmm. So I swam from England to France. Wow. It took 10 and a half hours. Ugh. It's about sort of maybe 30 something kilometers. Wow. But I trained for it. Yeah. There was one bad thing, right? So I trained and trained and trained over like a year and the thing one of the biggest challenges is it's very cold mm. to see and so the guy training me says right it was like a month before and i was kind of looking the best i'd look i mean look i didn't look great <laughs> but i you know for me it was all right and then he said right you've got to put on about 10 kilos oh. And I was like, wait, so it's so what? cold, it's much better. Yeah, because Gotta have the blubber. really, yeah, you sort of have to be spherical, really, uh, <laughs> to swim the channel. And so it was like, oh, no, now everyone's going to see me <laughs> <laughs> in, in my speedos. It was fine. There is actually a story I, I tell in the uh, audience with, which is, um, so my mum gets very seasick. Right. But she came on the boat that was like following me swimming. Um, but when I reached France, I couldn't see her. You know, everyone else was on the deck, you know. Yeah. you know. And uh, and then when we got back to England, I said, oh, mum, I, d- I couldn't see you at the end. She went, yes, well, I was I was below deck. I was throwing up into a bucket for the whole ten and a half hours. Aww. And I said, well, you shouldn't have come. She went, I wouldn't have missed it for the world. <laughs> oh, God, love it. Isn't that sweet? Yeah. That is so yeah. lovely. Yeah, that's what mums are for. Yeah. 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 What's that? Did they cover you in, um, is Vaseline? it Vaseline or something? Yeah, that was the a... best part, <laughs> um, for me. That was the whole reason I said yes yeah. to the whole thing. Nothing to and do with get, the swim. <laughs> it used to be goose fat. Oh, right. Um, mm. But uh, and that's gone, cracked, that's gone PC. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, so circle. it was a sort of yeah, some kind of Vaseline. Yeah. It's because the the salt water is a bit abrasive on your Chase. skin, yeah. and oh. two, it's just nice having it rubbed. rubbed, rubbed yeah. 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 But there's one funny thing I tell you. So there's a man and he's like the president of the Channel Swimming Association, and he yeah. came on the swim, and we we're just about to set off, and he goes, "Now, David, it's time for the drugs test." I went, "Okay," <laughs> and then he went, "Have you taken drugs?" I went, "No," nope. and he goes, "Okay." That's the drugs <laughs> test over. How British. <laughs> if only it was that easy. If only it was that easy for like yeah. British football. Yeah. Well, uh, the other thing is, fun. too, you, you didn't know that. You could have had a bender the night yeah. before. And been I fine. know. <laughs> I know. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> no, the never. Drugs test. I love it. I love it. <laughs> well, mate, um, we're really looking forward to seeing you here in Brisbane. You can get your tickets to tegdainty.com. You're going to be at the Brisbane uh, Convention and Exhibition Centre. Thank you so much for uh, joining us on the show. Thank this you so much. And I look forward to seeing some of you guys there if you'd like to come. Great. Great. Love there. Good. Yeah. Yeah. David Thank Williams. We'll, I'll there sort is. that out. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure you will. <laughs> Thanks so much for having me on, guys. Really Anytime. appreciate Thank it. You. Thanks, man. Thank you. The B105 <laughs> Breakfast Show with Stav, Abby, and Matt. Brisbane's number one hit music station. 18 past eight with Stav, Abby, and Matt. Tops of 24, the chance of showers. The Savo. Mm, now, this has been very big news all morning. We're who we thought, good guy Dave Grohl. Mm. He has admitted to fathering a baby daughter outside of his marriage. Uh, he already shares three daughters with his wife, Jordan. Yeah. They married in tw- uh, 2003. Yeah. Um, I hear it's not over yet. Apparently he's got another <laughs> confession to make. Oh, very good. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh, you've been thinking about that all morning, I have. haven't you? Yeah. yeah, it's kicking myself I didn't say the first time. And you see him reading it off that uh, uh, napkin he wrote it down. <laughs> 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 so he has come out on his own Instagram. Uh, this isn't like a rumour, this is mm. confirmed. And he wrote in a statement, I've recently become the father of a new baby daughter outside of my marriage. I plan to be a loving and supportive parent to her. I love my wife and my children and I'm doing everything I can to regain their trust and earn their forgiveness. Ouch. This mm. was shocking. But I guess it happens frequently. Yeah. I mean, not super frequently, but it Enough. happens. Yeah. Everyone does it. Everyone's, you know, got a <laughs> random love child out there. But we do want to hear from people. Are you the child of an affair? Oof. Are you the product of an affair? You can re- remain anonymous. Mm. Uh, 131060, give us a buzz. He's got, th- having three daughters as well, I can't imagine that they're, not saying that a, that a son would just let it slide no. either, but. Mm. They're going to slide with their mum. Of course. Yeah. Mm. You know, and even he's got a teenage daughter. I think they're at a very oldest? formative age. Yeah. I think the youngest is like 10. Mm. Maybe up to like high teens, but mm. oh, 18, 15 and 10. Yeah. And then you'd be like, surely his partner would be thinking about all the times he's toured. Exactly. Mm. All the and times he's going home. to tour mm. again. And I mean, for her, his wife, mm. that's an incredibly strong woman who can stay with someone who has betrayed her yeah. in that mm. fashion. And I mean, it's one thing to have cheated, yes, but yeah. then... To father a child, you you now have she has to deal with two families. Yes, yeah, correct. And because was it Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yeah, that yeah. is kind of yeah, very similar thing. And he that was a maintained affair. Mm. We don't know the circumstances of this. This could be a well, one yeah. off. Well, well, didn't he? He was cheated. He cheated with the. It was a maid. That's maid. The maid. Mm. He knew about it. Kept the child secret for like sixteen years yeah. and was like paying child support and everything. Wouldn't anyone look? Because that kid, the kid looks exactly he like him. Clearly, no one in his family met him. Because mm. you take one look at him and go. Well, no, I think they. I think that's what was even weirder about that is his wife knew the kid because it was the maid. So yeah. they, they well. she even supported her thinking that she was a single mum well. and like actually. She was. Y- yeah. 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 I just went to Dave Grohl's Instagram, yeah. and uh, obviously comments are turned off. Of course, off, but yeah, uh, and he just—he just, he was one of those, wasn't he? I know. Yeah. You know, he was one of those. I always—I get to work every morning. I Google Tom Hanks and Bill Murray, and make sure they're all good. Correct. You know, yeah, <laughs> yeah. they wouldn't do anything bad like this. If and now Dave, see, if they well, did, I would you know, have thought Dave would do it. You know, I know. Dave didn't seem like the guy. No. I don't. Yeah, I don't trust anyone anymore. Oh, uh, he's broken. He's you. broke. Yep. Mm. You know what, Dave? You got a lot of. You got to make this up to me. Mm. I don't well, know how, I but will, you have to. I will to. sleep with you if you like. <laughs> I will follow your baby. <laughs> 131060. Uh, we want to know um, if this has happened to someone you know. We'll mm. take your calls next. The B105 Breakfast Show with Stav, Abby and Matt. Dave Grohl mm-hmm. has admitted to fathering a baby daughter outside of his marriage. So we wanted to ask. There goes my hero. I know. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry. Ha ha. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, we wanted to know are you the child of an affair? Mm, we got an anonymous caller from Launton Morning Anonymous. What's your story? Hey, good morning, guys. Hi, Anonymous. Hey. <laughs> so, I am a product of an affair. So, <gasps> back in the day, mm. um, my mum met this guy doing her alarm system. Mm hmm. Oh. And so they got talking, one thing led to another, and I was conceived. So, so you're, okay, so... So he was like a tradie? Your mum was trying to stop intruders and someone <laughs> intruded on, on her. Yeah, pretty much. Hey, so wow. um, I found out that he, well, I didn't find out. My mum found out that mm. he was married and had two kids. Uh, oh, so your mum was single in the, in the situation? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Now I get it. Have you met the kids? Did you or didn't have? I any? don't even know my father. Yeah. Right. Oh wow. Yeah. Well, apply yeah. to get some fire alarms fitted. Never know your luck. <laughs> you might rock up. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And, well, um, apparently she tried to get this um, private investigator to find him. He left his house. He left everything, and she's not been able to find him. So he doesn't uh-huh. know about you. He or, does. Oh, he, he does. does. I think right. he, if he's ran that far, well, I know, I'm pretty sure yeah. he's got a bit of an inkling. Wow. Uh, yeah. That must be yeah. stressful for him to, like, every time the door knocks, you're like, please be with Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah. <laughs> Jehovah's Witnesses. yeah. Um, have, you, have you ever thought about doing, like, an ancestry? Mm. I think I have. I've, I was thinking I was thinking I wanted to do it, but I was mm. like, I want to see if, like, his kids came out, like, mm. 
has come up or not. Oh, um, then you have to explain to them why why has this person come up as my sibling? <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, do they even know about me? Or? Yeah, probably not. <laughs> How old were you when your mum told you the full story? Because I imagine you would have asked a lot of questions from when you were younger. Yeah, I, I was like, oh, she always tells me the story. Mm. <laughs> um, it's a continuous thing. Um, I think maybe like when I was like 10 or like younger, I can't really remember actually, but yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, mm. and she said she would do it over again. Oh, yeah. well, of course yeah. she got she, she got, got you out of it. And fire alarms. Let's not forget uh. the fire alarms. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So, um, uh, uh, good on you. Thank you. Uh, hello, anonymous number two. Hello, how are you? Good. Hi. What's your story? Um, so I'm not actually a child, but I've um, had a child to a married man. <gasps> uh. Oh. Yeah, I didn't actually know he was married till two days before I gave birth oh. to my daughter ten years ago, nearly. Oh wow. no! And were you in sort of a relationship, or was it a one night thing? Um, or? So it was kind of like so it was a relationship till I found out he was married. Yeah, yes, of course. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Well, to you, it was a relationship. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, like he's a lot older than me. Um, and mm. yeah. Does he fit fire alarms? <laughs> No, <laughs> he's a bus driver. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> so does yeah. does his uh, wife or wife at the time did did she find out about it? Is... Um, yes. Yeah, so she was really supportive. She didn't blame me. Um, she blamed him because mm-hmm. he has done this in the past. Mm, yeah. Okay. Did they um, did they stay together? Yeah, they are. I, at mm. this stage, I still know that they are, and they've got kids um, that are older than me as well. So right. that are older than you. Yes. Mm. Right. right. So, so how much older than you is he? Um, 34 years different. Wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And he is he a father to your child still? Like, do they have a relationship? Um, no. So yeah. my daughter turns 10 um, in the, this month. Um, he's seen her once. Um, and then he questioned me, is that my child? And I just denied it, said no. Right, okay. um, So he's never seen her since that day. Oh, oh so you, you didn't <laughs> want him to be around, so you told him it's not his daughter? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Wow, that's a lot for you to take on. Yeah. Uh, well, I've got a, my new partner, like, we've been together seven years and he's really supportive, taking yeah, okay. on her as yeah. his own. Um, and we've got two children together as well. Oh. Together. Well, he yeah. is her dad. Yeah. 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 And I guess you, yeah, you, want to, you want to make that decision. If he, he doesn't sound like the nicest of no. men, so you don't particularly want him around your daughter, mm. especially if he's not no. interested either. Which makes it, um, like, in a funny way, makes it funny for me because he actually listens to your guys' um, <gasps> station. Oh! <laughs> he's listening now. Probably, yep. And he's a bus driver. Yeah. yeah, that's correct. Um, Park Ridge. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> Sounds like you want him to ring. 13, 13 10, 60, if he is listening, yeah. if, you, if you think it's you. Yeah. Wow. You can be anonymous. Do you want to say his name, anonymous no. number two? Um, I can if you like. Oh, it's, my God. T- it's up to you. That's your call. Um, it's either Australian one or his nationality one. So... The first, he's in his um. Just give us the Australian one. Oh, maybe just okay. the Australian name. one. Yeah, just the yep. first, just name. first um, name. Eli. All right, Eli. Okay. There we go. Well, Eli, if you're listening, mm-hmm. um, and you think it's you, thirteen ten sixty. The producer's saying no, no, no. Mm-hmm. Just a name. First name. We're not giving okay. out his yeah. his credit card details. No. We'll pay him fifty cents. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. The, oh, no. You do have to pay fifty cents. I thought the government was paying that for you. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Right, anonymous. Mm. Wow. Mm. No phone calls. Mm. No, nothing coming through. Right. Thank you for calling. The B105 Breakfast Show with Stav, Abby and Matt. The Amazing Race Celebrity Edition is back every Sunday and Monday, 7.30 on 10 and 10 play. And he is hosting once again. He does a great job. Bo Ryan. Good morning, legend. Morning. Thank you for having me. Oh, anytime. What a great gig this is because you don't have to do any of the running around or arguing or breaking up with your partner. You just get to go to these places and wait. Yes. No, I'll wait till I get home to do that, mate. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, that was a joke. That was a joke. I was going to uh, say, no, is there do... things on the rocks at home, are they, though? <laughs> no, no. Things are good. I'm away a lot. Yeah. Marriage is great. <laughs> Marriage is great when you're away. You know the rules. Um, no, it's good. It's a fantastic season, and you guys have been a great support over the last five, six years. But uh, it is a, it, this year is next level. The celebs are good. We've sort of taken it to a new level with the celebrities. Mm-hmm. I mean, Usually it takes two or three apps, and now two are out of the way to get, a, you know, accompanied with the 
cast we have and a bit of a background story mm. with the celebs. Everyone's got a team straight away. And I think what's more important is the charities. And you'll see that unfold. Everyone's got an important charity and how it, how it relates to them. And I think at home, you pick a team you like or you pick a charity and uh, the money literally saves lives at the end. But it's a, it's a, it's a hectic season, mate. Mm. Hectic season. I couldn't do it. I, do, you, I, I think it would break my... I think it's one of those shows that there is no way in hell I could actually go on it because I'm so competitive and I get so angry and it would destroy. (laughs) You'd be the villain. Yeah, and it would just destroy any relation. What kind of which relation? It'd destroy your media. Sorry to interrupt, but it'd destroy your media career as well. Exactly. (laughs) Show your true colours. Oh, I've shown my true colours on the other show I work on. Don't you? Yeah, yeah. Um, Well, it's not good to show your true colours in the media. The media are all psychos. Exactly. (laughs) But which kind of relationship dynamic? Because obviously there's like friends, teammates, siblings. Which ones do you think have the most? fights in this kind of that's a good question i've been asked that i've been doing <laughs> i've been doing back-to-back interviews for five years on this six <laughs> years um people who i love and mm. i know who want to do the show mm. don't do it with your partner no mm-hmm. do not do it with your partner they they have i think they don't have the, the biggest as in domestics and arguments on air but that it's the cuts are deep yes if you do it with your partner mm. um but siblings go at it and and friends i think siblings go at it a lot as well and I think the ideal partner would be a friend, a close friend, mm. where yeah. you can be honest with each other. But, yeah. um, mm. It's the anxiety of, you know, you have a fight with your wife or your husband and yeah. you say something and no one really knows. It's like even driving, like I drive to the city with my wife and we have, yeah. we're great. We're, we're great marriage, all good. But we have four arguments. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Um, yeah. And, and I'm always wrong. You know the rules. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Mate, um, Oh, I used to love watching you on the footy show too when that was yeah. on. You used to do some some great stuff out on the streets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think it is time that the footy show could come back. A lot of old shows right. are returning. Yes. true. And, and yeah, I, yeah. I think, I reckon it'd, it'd be great to see you back doing something like that. Mate, I just had this conversation with someone an hour ago. Um, about like, like an executive to, <laughs> to, to, to launch nah, it? Look, I, I reckon, mate, out of all the stuff I've done, and it's been incredible, my last 10 years, the last three years has been a blur. Yeah. Um, with Top Gear that went for five, six months into the race, back to back, the thing I get asked most about, and I'm talking in Sid, all over the country, yeah. is the footy show. Bonos, right? That was, the, that was the Bonos, but, yeah. Bonos, but the, the thing about the footy show it was, yeah, it was a footy show, but it was... It was a, an entertainment show. Mm, exactly. And 100% there's a market there. I, 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 would, I wouldn't say no. Put mm. it that way. I wouldn't say no. It's a, I took it for granted because I, that was mm. my, first, my first initiation into TV and I just, you know, was having fun. A, a lot of younger people wouldn't know the amount of sayings and things that yeah. are actually in Aussie culture now, like that's yeah. gold, mm. um, yeah. you know, that actually all started, mm. you know, the Falcon, the Falcon. you know, getting, getting yeah. hit in the head with a yeah. ball. Like all of that yeah. started <clears throat> from the footy show and yeah. people just yes. say it in everyday vernacular now. Yeah, and a couple of the characters that come through, uh, I mean, uh, back at probably 2009 to 2013 when it was white hot, like mm. one yeah. of the highest rating shows on TV, you know, we were doing characters and everything was. Um, it was a sketch show. Extremely almost, popular. Yeah. It was a sketch show, and you know. Who um who are you putting your life savings on to win the grand final this year? Yeah, that's a good question. I, it's wide open this year. I'm loving watching it. As hard as Friday night was, I took both my kids to Campbelltown from Cronulla. Took mm. two and a half hours and thirty bucks on the M5 to get there. <laughs> yeah. Um, thirty to get home. Um, it was a tough season. I wouldn't rule out the Sharks, mm-hmm. right? Um, the Sharks play well when teams, when people put a line through them, and a, and a lot of people are. But, I mean, it's Penrith and Melbourne to lose because they are the two favourites, mm. but it, it is wide open. If I had to put me, my, 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 my life savings on a team, it would be Melbourne. Mm-hmm. See, I, I don't want Panthers to win because I'm a Bronx fan and I was at yeah. that grand final last year. Mm. And yeah. um, my son has is a 10 and is a Bronx yeah. fan too. He's shed a lot of tears <laughs> this year. So, we, I don't know, they just... Yeah. I was at the game as well, and I was working, and I was in the middle of filming Gladiators. So <laughs> it was my only day off. Mm. So I went to the game, did some stuff for the NRL, was doing some stuff for the game there, and they got out to that lead, Brisbane. Mm. And I had to film three weeks in a row the day, like from starting the day after on the Monday. So I rang the guy in the car and said, look, they're up 24-6. I think I can back that backpedal out of here. No one will know. <laughs> By the time I got to the car, it was 24-20. Uh. 
Yeah. And we put the radio on and it was 26, 24. So I tell everyone I knew, I know that I was there and saw yeah. the greatest grand final in history, yeah. but I was halfway home to Cronulla. Yeah. <laughs> and had you have known what a success Gladiators would have been, you could have stayed at the game. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hey, hey, in, hindsight, in hindsight, I should have never turned up again. I should have just stayed there. You're right. But as long as the check's clear, mate, that's Doesn't what matter. I always say. Who cares? Hey, as long as the money's green, mate. That's it, baby. That's it. <laughs> uh, well, the Amazing Race Celebrity Edition, Sunday and Monday, 10 and 10 play if you want to catch up on that. Always a pleasure to talk to you. Thanks for calling through this morning. Awesome. Thank you. It's, uh, it is a wonderful season. And uh, Sunday night, 7 o'clock, is, it, it gets really hectic. It's good to have people from maths in it. really helps. <laughs> <laughs> the B105 Breakfast Show with Stav, Abby and Matt. Alpha Bucks tomorrow, guys, the 12th of September. It's a Thursday. Here are some answers for the 7 and 8 Alpha Bucks. 7 a.m., your letter is O, and some of your answers are Olives, recently reformed Oasis, and Octopussy. Oh. Hmm. 8 a.m. It's H, and some of your answers are headphones, home alone, and harmonica. Mm. Well done. See you tomorrow, boy. Bye. Bye. Stab, Abby, and Matt, the B105 Breakfast Show.